the overgo. This is your general cusp reading for October 2022. Please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading hypnosis. Whatever I do, please also visit EnchantedSky.com. You can book a reading there. Also, Metaphysical Meanderings is my podcast. It's going to be changing. I'm going to start taping some of them at home. All right. Um, also, visit uh, Astrology Gumbo. You can get your reading off there and pay attention because this is October. And if you have a Pisces in your chart, and I mean in your 12 houses, most people do, that's where your luck sits. Because Jupiter goes direct at the end of October. In my, For me, it's in my second house of money. So I, there's something going on that's real positive. So, and I believe it because it was, because I'm a Pisces moon now, which is in my second house for me. So see what I'm saying? Pay attention to that. It's important. Okay? Just take a look. All right? So joke of the day. So um, I'm going to tell a, I, I can tell a roof joke. I'll tell you a roof joke, but you know what? This first one's on the house. That's your joke. All right, so let's see. A new relationship, possibly. Oh, we have a tower card. And it has to do with money. It has to do with letting go of what you doesn't serve you. There's something to do with money, and there's something to do with a meeting. Now... Like I said, their love of your life could be coming in. Is this a shock or a blow? Now, remember the tower card isn't always bad. Now, look how it's sitting in your pot. And here's a relationship. I don't want to say that you need to let go of somebody or something. So they're telling you what do you need to release to go to this, to get to this. This is a relationship reading. Now, they're telling you all, are they going to offer you something? Are they going to offer you a, wet, a marriage? Are they going to, do you see what I'm saying? There's something being offered, sort of. And they're telling you to be very, very careful in whatever you do dealing with this person and dealing with this situation. Because something is a little hidden. It'll be revealed probably the light of the moon, which would be the first, uh, like, 10th or 11th of this next of October. But it also can be that it's hidden. They're not telling you everything. And this is you making plans. And there's an ending. There's an ending of something and a beginning of something else. Could this be a relationship that could be ending in the next 30 days? It could be. Or it could be starting. You know your situation, but it has to do with a, a relationship. Okay? It's very spiritual. Do you see this card? I always say, look at look in here. See how that star from the star card's in there? And they're searching for their, their happiness. What do you need to get? What's the monkey on your back you need to get rid of? What do you need to release to be, you know, you're going to be, okay, you're not going to be real happy. You, you don't realize that it's really not as bad as you think it is, anything. And it's within the normal realms of relationships. This could be a marriage. This could be a proposal. There's something going on within the normal realms of society. And how you're reacting to this is all up to you because there is a, um, a king of pentacles involved and a very emotional thing that's going on with it. Because this is a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Could be have somebody that just has money, too. So um, there could be the government involved, attorney involved. Let's see how this could be. A, it's either getting together or breaking apart. It's one or the other, depending on what you are. Now, I could be, if it was just you, I'd say, oh, it's this or it's that. But being reading for so many people, you figure this out. And go is a, it's just a, but, but, but yet, what I find interesting, there's an ending, but it's not a bad ending. This is good luck. So maybe it's something you need to go do with somebody like needed to just say, you know what, we're just done. Or you're completing another relationship and starting something new. Or do you see how that goes? All right. So let's pull some cards from the other deck. This is my Cheryl self-care deck. Okay. Trust your decisions. See how you have to make a decision? Mm -hmm. You're making charge forward because you will make progress. Take a mini retreat so you can go and think somewhere. Take a walk on the lake. Take a walk on the beach. Do something. And go take a walk in the woods. Release your ties to your past. And remember I told you what do you need to get rid of? 
We'll see. Take, don't be willing to take a risk. So is somebody coming your way? Mm -hmm. Practice present moment awareness. That means like I'm right here, right now. I'm not thinking of the past. I'm not thinking of the future. I'm right here, right now. Okay? It's important. Okay? You don't realize how important that is. Okay? But what if, what if, what if? It starts when you're only thinking about the future and, the, and you're remembering the past, not where you're at. Breathe and relax. You're going to be okay. Blessings to you. Make it a great month.